Hi, this is Marvin Lindsay. I'm the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Columbia, and I want to invite you to join us in worship this Sunday, May 27th. Our worship services are at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and there is Sunday school for all ages in between at 10 a.m. This Sunday is Trinity Sunday uh, in the life of our congregation and for uh, many churches that observe the Christian year. And so we're going to be uh, worshiping and um, reflecting on the one God and three persons. Uh, the doctrine of the Trinity is uh, something that many Christians, uh, we know that uh, we're supposed to believe in, but we kind of struggle with exactly uh, what the doctrine means uh, and how do you get three in one and one in three. Uh, at the 9 o'clock service, our contemporary worship service, we're going to watch uh, a kind of humorous video between the scripture readings that uh, kind of humorously talks about the perils of trying to um, explain or make analogies that can kind of explain the doctrine of the Trinity. So I uh, hope you'll join us for that. Really, uh, when we say that God is one in three persons, what we're saying is that we have, as Christians, experienced God's salvation in three really different ways, and yet in those different ways that God has encountered us, uh, they're really different, but it's always the same God that we are encountering. And so the doctrine of the Trinity wants to do justice to uh, uh, the differences in our experience of salvation, uh, but also wants to do justice to the fact that God is one, um, which we confess uh, and believe. Also, uh, May 27th is uh, Memorial Day weekend, and so we will, in our prayers of the people, be uh, honoring and remembering those who, uh, in Abraham Lincoln's words, uh, gave the last full measure of devotion in service to their country, and also um, particularly uh, remembering those who mourn the loss of loved ones, especially those who have uh, died on the battlefield and died in harm's way in service of their country. Uh, and uh, Memorial Day and Trinity Sunday seem to be very different themes, but at our 11 o'clock service, uh, our closing hymn really nicely brings these two very different themes together. We're going to be singing the hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save, or it's always, uh, or also known as uh, the Navy Hymn. And uh, this hymn, uh, each of the first three verses uh, is really a prayer to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to protect those who are sailing on the seas, particularly those who are uh, in the Navy, in the Marine Corps, uh, in the Coast Guard. And then the final verse of the hymn uh, is an appeal on their behalf to the one triune God. And so um, uh, it's, it's a nice way to, uh, uh, to recognize uh, God's threefold and one nature and also to uh, recognize the need uh, for God's protection and salvation for those who are in uniform. So uh, join us this Sunday, May 27th, contemporary worship at 9 a.m., traditional worship at 11 a.m., uh, and Sunday school for all ages in between at 10 a.m. And also, uh, remember, this is um, the last Sunday that we'll be having two worship services for a while. In the months of June and July, we'll be having one worship service at 10 a.m. with fellowship and reception to follow. So uh, please uh, join us uh, this Sunday at 16 Head Street at 9 or 11. Take care. Goodbye.